hi collective welcome to the channel cosmic divine dreamer hi everyone so it's going to be a reading for all my beautiful goddesses that feel guided to the reading or whoever finds all right but i wanted to, to do a beautiful reading with the wisdom of the house of the night with um getting enlightenment and messages invoking the spirit of the goddess nix the um the goddess of the night right so i and because in the last reading that i did i you know um it was the empowerment for my divine feminines um you know and i was talking a little bit about how i was getting to have been working on my goddess channel and things like that so i thought it'd be fun getting into halloween you know um because I, I i got guided to to neeks through that um one of my soul family members was like okay that's right i i should do a reading right so um, anyway, <laughs> this is what, um, this reading is going to be about, right? Okay. So well, I'll pull some tarot too, after we get some Oracle cards that it's like, yes, I haven't used this deck in such a long time. I remember it was so cute too, right? When I got it, I felt how powerful it was. So I was very limited about how I used it and it was very delicate because she's very, very powerful goddess. Um, some of the other gods used to fear her, right? Because of the power that she had held and I could feel that upon um, coming. And this is the only deck that I have too that I have to be careful when I use it because it bites me. It has very sharp corners. So I say, you know, that it bites me and it, um, it used to snag, you know, my, um, my cloths and things like that right? So, yeah, I have to be very, very delicate, right? Um, with this deck, right? I really feel the energies in it, right? Okay, so, um, but anyways, you know, um, she's really about, <clears throat> you know, it's really about you, you got to really embrace your dark side, right? And I've been talking about these fem feminines that you really need to not cower down to people. Part of invoking this goddess energy within an awakening to an empress is you need to be able to defend yourself. You need to have sovereignty over your life. You need to be able to have statue to be able to hold yourself on your own. Things like that. That's why I'm feeling this very, very empowered energy, right? And you, we have, we all have a shadow side for a reason, right? It's to defend ourselves, right? Animal side, animal nature, shadow side, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, you're, you really need to embrace that dark side of you as well, but it's about taming it, learning how to how to use it. We've all been in moments where we've overreacted and we've acted out more than we wanted to, right? Well, that was kind of a way to show you how powerful you can be, right? So, yeah, this um, I've I've been getting somebody's really needing to stand up for themselves, right? Um, things are going to be revealed. This eclipse energy coming through is very chaotic, but it reveals things and it gets you that push that you need to uncover things, to reveal things, to piece things together, to really start to take action, charge of control over your life, right? So for a lot of you, this is the time where you're up for major changes within your life. Okay. So let's get into the wisdom of the house of knights. There's a lot of beautiful messages in here. Remember, this is a collective reading, so collective things could come out. Take whatever you feel is for you, right? So yeah, let's go ahead. We'll get some fresh energy here. <clears throat> so yeah, see, um, we're gonna see, um, we're gonna reveal some things here, right? Um, you know, it's about revealing the darkness, what you don't see, um, secrets, things like that, illusions, you could get the realizations, you know, through, through the reading, after the reading, whatever, but I really feel that this is going to awaken something, right? All right. Okay, I'm going to be talking. <laughs> All right, I've already called in my divine team for protection and guidance to bless this, um, space. Cleanse my energy, right? Okay. All right. So we're calling on Goddess Nix here, Goddess of the Night, for some enlightenment for all of my beautiful divine feminines that are being guided at this time to this reading. Whether you're around eclipse or not, right? This is just, I on this channel, I always talk about the energies that I'm connecting with. Wow, look. Right away, the moon and the black cat. And I've been seeing a lot of black cats. I literally just seen a, a photo. I should have shared it. It was a meme. It said National Black Cat Day. And there was like 12 black cats. <laughs> Look like we're in a circle. I don't know if it really is National Black Cat Day. Um, 
could be i don't know but um i've been seeing them <laughs> so much it was cute even my daughter she's five she was using my boyfriend's phone and, and she was messaging me on messenger it's so cute how they learn technology so fast isn't it but anyway she was sending me a bunch of different emojis that she had picked and I was naming them off. I'm like, oh, I see the alligator. I see the koala. I see this. I see that. And she had had like multiple just running across, you know. And there was one black cat. And it was funny because, you know, I called them all out except for the one black cat because there was only one. And it was cute because she, she, she's um, very little with her words because I believe some would label it as autistic, right? You know, autism, she's, she has her own language, right? So she's doesn't use a lot of words at this time and anyway she goes she had said see the black black cat did you, like she was asking me about the black cat and I was like oh that's so cute because out of all the animals I named there's one little black cat at the bottom and she wanted to make sure that I had seen the black cat right and I thought that that was very significant around the time because I pay attention a lot to the messages that I receive from my children because a lot of times children are so open that they will deliver messages and um, a lot of times we get messages through our children right and things like that um, pay attention you know when you're very tuned to the universe and the secrets to it and the ways that things come out because the universe is always speaking to you whether it's through spirit animals that you see sounds that you hear synchronicities messages things like that but my children give me a lot so I always pay attention as you should always pay attention to children you should never dismiss them right they it's really important to make sure that children know that they are to be heard you know, respected, honored, right? I mean, that's what causes a lot of our woundings that we have to overcome when we've been disrespected as children, right? So anyway, there's something very significant about black cats. Oh, wow, that they really had me run off with that, okay. All right, let's <laughs> keep going. Sorry, the anticipation of the cards. I'm feeling it, right? All right, so. Pay attention to how things are revealed to you. That was the whole thing that was coming out with that. All right. Goddess sneaks. What messages? Thank you for divine feminines. Rigid. Ooh. That looks like a black raven, too. Rigid. Maybe we're going to get into the cards where I tell you each of them, but I'm always going to tell you what I'm feeling intuitively, too, is I'm an intuitive reader. Something I'm starting to realize that I really much need to get more into my oracle. <laughs> and um, I'm always going to pull some tarot, but I love it. But yeah, I know that it's meant for me to be an oracle. I know that I was many times. <laughs> many times more over my past lives, right? The warrior... Chaos. Ooh, I told you this chaotic energy. It's already coming through. Some things are stirring about. Things are revealed amongst the chaos and after. Complicated. I'm getting this situation has layers like an onion, right? There's multiple layers. There's things that have to be revealed and overcome. We've got choices here. All right. Let's get one more. Let's keep it even. All right. I heard seven for a reason. Okay. Forbidden. <laughs> it's on the bottom. All right. It was stopped. You could be feeling as though something is forbidden. Hmm. I was told seven for a reason. Stop. I'm trying to push something because I normally keep things in order. I feel in it, order for me. Um, structure. I it's interesting. I was thinking about the three six nine because sometimes that'll determine how many cards I pull, right? So I was trying to figure that out. So I'm getting that something is going to be done differently not a way you're used to right 
Understanding, confidence, and choices is here on the bottom. So the overall energy that I'm getting is complicated. So this is definitely a complicated situation as this is not going to be something that's going to be easy when you're on a major leveling up, a time for major change. You need to know that. Things are not, this is not just a normal change of timeline is what I'm getting. This is a very, very powerful, empowering time for somebody to go through a major leveling up. That's why we have the warrior here. You are a warrior. You have been through something. You can't give up now. It's kind of like going through a battle and you're almost about to win, right? And then you're like, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to put down my sword. I'm not going to fight anymore. No. You're already in the, you're already in the middle of this damn storm. You're already pulled into it. You don't want to be a coward. Your, your confidence is being tested right now. I'm getting for some of you, you feel as though you're rigid at this time and you don't like it. You don't like how something has made you feel. You don't like that something has turned you into a warrior. Something is making you play these games. Something is kind of turning you dark. But it's meant to. Because it's meant for you to fight to get to the light. You have to battle whatever is trying to block you. This darkness I see up here and the lightness down here. There's this light behind the horse, the light behind her, the the um Look at his wings. One is white, one is black. This is about that balance, that duality. Remember how I was saying you need to embrace the darkness and the light. That's what makes a true warrior. The duality. You have to be able to defend yourself. If you're too nice if you're too much in this beautiful goddess energy so when you when you think about a goddess you think about this beautiful you know very delicate type of energy they look like they're you know adored admired that they don't have to do much right it takes a lot for a goddess to you know they know that even though they they're protect. They still need to be in control of themselves because confidence is what people admire. It's like you don't get up to empress status, goddess status by not being confident. Being confident is knowing that you can take charge and control when need be. You can stand up for yourself. Now I get that you need to have sovereignty. You need to be able to control your darker nature but maybe you need to be the warrior and you need to battle this to be able to to have this known right um that's why i'm getting it's a complicated situation because i get it I have this energy where I feel somebody's afraid of, like, the chaos that they're going to cause. And they don't like this energy, but it's almost like a test. You can't, It's like proving yourself. You have to understand how the game is played. I don't think that you understand that to truly become this goddess, this empress that you desire, you have to embody this dark side. You just have to know when to pull yourself out of it. It's interesting. I was listening to a meditation this morning about, you know, how it's really important and impactful when you can change the way that um, you your, um, your emotions and your feelings. It's like, you know, when you get hurt, when you hurt yourself, it immediately makes you mad, angry. And, and every time you feel that pain of what hurt you, it puts you back into that place and it can affect your whole day right like say you trip over something or hurt yourself it can set your mood for the day right i remember something i've had to overcome a lot i'm like if you better wake me up nice if you don't wake me up nice oh my gosh 
because I had a lot of trauma where I'd gotten woken up, getting screamed and yelled at, and it, it, it caused a lot of um, psychological stuff, right? So, <laughs> um, but I, I've had to overcome that, and you know, and it takes a lot. I feel right when you wake up, right? I think, I mean, I don't know, because I go off what I feel, but maybe it's like that for everybody, but you know how powerful it is when you can change it and you can say, I am not going to let this ruin my day. I'm going to breathe through this, release the negative energies, think of something I'm grateful and thankful for, flip it around to something different, change my mindset, change my experience of the day. You really are in control of your reality with your thoughts and your actions. It's kind of like when you're really mad at somebody, you know, people would perceive this as bipolar or a different ailment, an illness, if you can go from mad to happy like that. Really, it's not. No, it's just labeled that way. Because somebody must really be insane to be able to flip their emotions for, like this or from one person to the next. No, they wanted you to think that way because literally just because you get mad at someone doesn't mean that you need to be mad at everybody. But people would perceive that as, oh, you must be insane if you can be just so angry at somebody. And then all of a sudden I walk in or someone new walks in the room and then you treat them with respect. No, it's not. That shows how extremely powerful you are, actually, that if you could release all of that anger to not put it on another, maybe not everybody can do that. I know I can. I couldn't always do that, though. No, there was a time where if one of my children would upset me for fighting and arguing, I'd be mad at all the family, right? Then I started to realize, no, that that's unfair, you know? And so, I mean, there'd be times, you know, I'd say, give me a few minutes, let mommy calm down, <laughs> you know? And then take a couple breaths, but that's all it takes for me is just a couple breaths, right, to release that. Just enough for me to tell myself, okay, I'm going to release this. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to think of what I'm grateful and thankful for. I'm going to move forward, right? So you have the power to do that. Maybe this is what someone's afraid of, that once they get in this warrior energy, that all of a sudden they're going to go down this destructive pathway and they're going to be mad at everybody and they're, you're going to cause all this and it's going to affect their life, right? No. Because you're learning how to temperance that out. You're learning how to create a balance, right? So you're learning how to be defensive and stand up for who you need to, but not everybody. You know, not everybody needs to get, has to see that dark side of you that you need, that you're, um, that you're embodying, right? So that's what I was getting intuitively for somebody. All right. So let's get into the cards now for the rest of you, or if this is still ongoing for you and what messages are coming out right because i feel that's where i've been struggling with trusting the intuitive hits that i get and then going into the collective readings all right i'm trying different things guys i want to take a look at forbidden first right because the key i just looked at it again on the bottom right so as your goddess i am sending you this warning you are about to enter into a situation that will not be easy and could cause you or others harm not all doorways are meant to be opened. Not all relationships are good for you. Not all love is expressed and not all desires are realized. Right now I am saying no to you. The symbol for forbidden also reminds you that, although you may feel pain when someone rejects you, this is one of my ways of protecting you. I may whisper in someone's ear to stay away. It is for the best, even if you don't believe it right now. This is a symbol to move on and choose another path. All right. So whatever this may be, remember I was deciding whether or not to pull more cards. I was told, nope, to stop with seven. Seven for a reason. And I put the deck down showing me forbidden. So if, if you feel that you're trying to open up a new option, maybe you don't like the options that are available to you or something like that when you're trying to push something looking for more However this may feel for you, if you feel that this is fitting for you, you're getting, you know what this may pertain or maybe you're pursuing somebody that says no. Remember I say in eclipses too, it is not a time to try to undo what the universe is doing. This is a time to allow. You might not see everything. Sometimes 
people will be guided away that we're going to hurt you that we're going to you know this is a time of tests universal energies will move people because sometimes somebody may be getting moved away for somebody new to come in something like that you don't want to mess with what's going on here Plus two, universe knows and can see all. There could be some secrets, some things that you're unaware of. So there are far bigger things at play here. Okay, so there, there was that warning, right? If it's not for you, then don't worry about it. If it is, you'll know. So the first card that we got was rigid. Is there a stone wall that stands between you and others? Could that wall be inside you? Now is the time to become more flexible and to drop your rigid expectations of yourself and especially of others. Don't be afraid to drop your guard a little too. If you are willing to let others in, you will see a benefit in these connections. Another meaning here is that you recognize the wall that others have put up. Don't take it personally if they won't let you in. This is their way of coping. It has little to do with you. Huh. So, so for some of you, this is energy surrounding you. It could pertain to this forbidden card because remember that is the overall. I normally take the bottom card as the overall. So you could take it and relates to any of these other cards if you feel it fitting, okay? The next card we had was the warrior. Does it go off of numbers? It does, okay. That makes it easier. My beloved child, when the warrior appears to you, it is, it is such a fortunate sign that no matter what is happening to you in your life, you are truly protected. Whatever you are experiencing right now, all will be well. If you question is regarding love, this card represents someone who is deeply committed, protected, and kind to you. Friendships and love are sacred, and these qualities are important for relationship to grow. If this person doesn't have these qualities, then move on, for I will send you someone with the true warrior spirit instead. Remember, life is about learning and discerning who is true and who is not. There is another message here to consider. Do you embody these qualities in yourself? Now is a good time to think about how committed you are to your path. Wow, remember how I said... <laughs> Maybe somebody new could be coming in. That's why I say, you know, the moon is very, very powerful time of, of things being revealed, secrets coming out. So I say you don't have to go looking for, and, you know, for evidence and sneaking. The truth is revealed to you. It always is. It kind of, so, hmm, okay. But enough said. Let's move on. So following this is chaos. All right, and it looks like a tornado with that chaos. No? A storm is brewing, and misunderstandings are all too common as chaos swirls around your life right now. My child, you have nothing to fear. I am here to remind you that after a storm, the air is cleared, and life will begin again, even better than before. The silly thing is, if you refuse to take shelter, you will get soaked, and you may have to repair a lot of damage. If you created the chaos, you will have to clean it up. But if others are the cause, you must step out of it and wait out in the storm. You will be glad you did. A good thing to say to yourself is, no drama. Interesting. Thank you. All right, so 46 is the next card, which is choices. Every choice you make has a consequence. Even your thoughts are like magnets, drawing experiences to you for the good or for the bad. Do you know the story of the winged immortal in the house of nights who had to choose between the dark and the light? Do you know what he cho chose? Right now you are faced with such a choice. All you need to do is ask, is this for my highest good? The choice you make will be an important step in your life lessons. Remember, even not deciding is a choice. That will it, what will it be? Choose another card to show you what your choice will bring you. 
Well, the following cards, confidence. So if you have confidence, hmm, we'll see here. There are a few of my chosen ones who have the confidence and courage to live forever. Here is one such immortal being who has kept the oracle safe in the castle of the Isles of the Sky to be given to you when the time is right. The world needs you. Much is going to be asked of you as you move through your life's challenges and receive my gifts. Now that I have chosen you and that you have everything you need to make the right decision, walk with your head held high, take the next step towards your goal with confidence. I will be with you every step of the way. Beautiful. And this card follows underneath the warrior. All right. And the last card for this reading... And then we will close it out as the understanding card. This is a symbol for the deep and true compassion. It is the one thing to read something or to hear something, but it is another thing to truly understand something. You are being asked to keep an open mind and heart and to allow yourself to absorb information as you receive it. Be open to the wisdom that can come only with time, patience, and perspective. Try to get outside of yourself and imagine what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes. To understand is to have power. Wow, very beautiful, right? <laughs> I just realized I forgot the complicated cards. Now this card is see the Roman numeral, the two up there. So this is outside of the normal cards. Every other card's got a number on it, right? So these represent like more of a major thing going on. So, oh wow, I realized, nope, okay. There is something major going on for me to call it out that way. All right, because some of the cards, decks that I have will have majors and then they get into the minors. So this is what I thought this was. I thought this was more a, um, a major. Just like all of these went off of numbers. Why is this one not? Why was I looking up 48? Why does it say 48? Oh, okay. Something about that. I was looking a lot of 48, 48, and 48 is a 10. Something is definitely complete. Because I kept talking about that. So something is definitely complete. I don't know. Why, why do I keep... Why do I feel... I don't know. I'm like getting mixed up. This is 48. Why did I, why am I saying 10? Because I'm mixing up twos and eights. It, something is very complicated. You don't want something to close out. You really, you don't want to see something to close it out. But it's really 12, 4 and 8. And then in numerology, that makes it a 3. But complicated, and then I was reading it as a two, and it was mixing me up, but it's really an 11. Complicated is falling on number 11, but see, it's on page 48. Just a minute, baby. So, my sweet one, wouldn't it be nice if life were always simple and things were obvious and transparent? Drawings and symbols remind you that some things are so many elements to consider that it can be next to impossible to understand them all in the moment, especially when you most want to find an answer. Right now, things are complex, and only time will help you put all the pieces of the puzzle together. Just remember, simple can always bring boring and complications can make for deeper, more mature experiences. Don't try to figure this one out. Just be open in it and flow with the threads of life's mysteries. All right, I'm going to close the reading here. I don't know why the last card, final card, was so complicated, but I feel it pertains to your situation. This is a very complicated situation, and like I say, you trying to look at things and figure them out normally 
I don't think it's going to work. It's like you're going to try to make sense of something. I was trying to make sense of the placement of the card and the numbers, and none of it was adding up or making uh, making sense, but I do know that it was coming up with a completion to me. It's like I know that something's done. You may not understand why at the moment, but like I say, things can be revealed in time, and you might not fully see everything, but I think you will in time. All right, love and light to all of you. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you have not right so that way you will get readings as i drop my um you'll get notifications when i drop my readings right it's more fun to catch them with cosmic alignments but they are all timeless know that love and light to all of you bye guys bye